Hey everyone, again, this is Nona from TheAlignLover.com and I have another comparison video for you today. We have Dramatic versus Flamboyant Natural and I think someone requested I do it with Nicole Kidman, so here it is. Um, real quick, if you want to order a personal analysis from me, just head over to TheAlignLover.com. All right, so let's start by just stating what these two types are. Claire Danes is a dramatic. She's solid, sharp, young. No, it's a very narrow, more intense, sharper, very, very vertical kind of body type. And Nicole Kidman, on the other hand, is a softened yang. It's a wider yang. So <clears throat> it's not as sharp. Um, it's more blunt. It's more fleshy. Um, there's more muscle to her. Um, she's wider. She looks more strong, a little bit more bulky than Claire does. And I know that's really weird to think about because I don't know about you, but when I think about Nicole Kidman, I think of someone who's extremely narrow and thin. <clears throat> but when I looked at pictures of her, you know, when she was a little bit younger, when she looked a bit more natural before any like cosmetic surgery, um, she does have a very strong flamboyant natural vibe. So let's just take a look at their faces. Let's start with Claire. Claire has those, you know, very prominent high cheekbones. Um, her mouth is a very straight line. She has that very prominent, sharp jawline and chin. It's not blunt. There's no like blunt shaping to it. It's more sharp um, without being <clears throat> pointy and delicate like a theatrical romantics. Um, her skin flesh is very taut. Her eyes are straight. They're not that narrow, but they're more straight. They're definitely not like round and upturned or, you know, very, very wide and spacious. And her nose is, you know, it's pretty straight. It's pretty prominent. You're not going to miss her nose. It's not a dainty, delicate nose, but it's not, you know, broad and very prominent and very blunt. So that's Claire's face. Now looking at Nicole Kidman's face, uh, we can see she has like wider cheekbones you know they're more powerful and they're wider especially when you look at the rest of her her face her features are pushed more inwards and it causes her cheekbones to look even wider her chin and jawline especially when she smiles you'll see in the next few photos it does have that blunt shape to it there's definite immediate angles going on um her nose has more of a blunt quality to that and i know that's kind of vague but when you think blunt, you think straight to the point, you know, no, there's no being gradual about it. It's just, you know, direct. And that's what I see in her nose. It's very apparent. There's a def definite shape to it. Um, it's consistently like one direction. It's not like tapered off. It doesn't curve off. It's more blunt. Um, and her cheek flush, as you'll see with the other um, pictures as well, there's a bit of musculature to her flesh. It's not taut um, and very lean like Claire's. There's a bit more meat in there. Um, and her her eyes, you know, they're a bit a bit more interestingly shaped. They have a little bit of a turn. They're a little, um, you know, downward sloping of the eyes. They're not exactly like straight on, um, and um, they're not obviously like big spacious romantic eyes so i just wanted to show some pictures of them younger especially in black and white it's very interesting to me claire she's young here but she still has that dramatic look she still looks very sharp it's that very direct intense pure young look that she has going on and she looks great with these very angular um smooth like wisps of hair that don't look delicate. They look very, very bold and sleek and sharp. And I think they look really great on her. Um, and with Nicole, she looks, um, she looks adorable here. I've never seen her so um, youthful, like adorable, like, like I didn't know she had so much flesh. Um, but anyways, you can see the bluntness in her face. Her nose is blunt. She has those wide natural cheekbones. Her eyes, you know, they're a bit more narrow. And, um, you know, her mouth is not super tight-lipped, but it's definitely um, 
a more natural kind of mouth. It's a bit more bulky than your A answer kind of lip and mouth, but it's definitely not a balanced mouth like a C. It's definitely not like a romantic mouth. It's, it's got some tightness to it. Okay, so moving on to their bodies. Claire is very, um, you know, she's narrow and she's straight. She has these sharp, straight shoulders that are quite narrow. Her chest um, is flat and kind of narrow. Her waist doesn't have too much tapering. It's boyishly tapered. It's more or less straight, but very lean. Um, her hips are very narrow and straight and her limbs just overall look very lean and very, you know, long. And I think she has a, you know, long vertical line. Maybe it's not the best picture to show that, but, um, you know, her head and her shoulders, there's a lot of difference in the width. So she doesn't look like tiny. She has a long line. She's, she's pretty vertical. So when we look at Nicole Kidman, she instantly, immediately looks more powerful next to Claire Danes. Um, she has those broader shoulders that have more musculature to them. Her limbs um, are just a bit more broad and more muscular. You can see it in her arms and in her calves. Um, you know, you see that she does have a waist, but it's not like a tiny little waist. It's a bit more solid. And her hips, she has hips, but they're a bit more athletic looking. You know, they're tighter, but they're wider than an A answer kind of hip. And she also has a very long vertical line. You know, she has broad shoulders and her face is, you know, a lot less wide in comparison to her shoulders. And she is pretty, you know, spacious up and down, even when she has um, that skirt and um, top separated, you know, you still really, really get that vertical line. Here's just another picture of their bodies. This is a really good picture for seeing how vertical and narrow Claire Danes is. You really see how, you know, boyishly tapered her waist is and as well as her hips. Um, she's very long. And then here you see this different side of Nicole. She looks so um, kind of bohemian here. I don't, I'm not really used to seeing her like this, uh, but it really works. She looks very fresh here. Um, she looks very relaxed, and I think it's a very good look on her. You know, it's it's fun, it's free, it's it's very fresh, it's very tactile. Like you can almost feel like what her shirt and her skirt feel like, and you know, she has a whole vibe. Like it's fresh, and you just want to like kind of you know touch her clothes. They look very tactile, and that's natural thing. Naturals look really great and tactile textiles. Um, so moving on to their vibes, Claire Danes looks amazing when she wears her dramatic lines and vibe when she looks very strong, very powerful. Um, I think that's why she does a really good job as in her role in um, Homeland. From what I've seen, I'm not a follower of the show, but from what I've seen through like trailers and what people tell me, you know, it's a very dramatic role. Um, it's a very strong role and intense, so she looks really great in these strong, structured, but sleek silhouettes and fabrics. Um, she looks very regal and powerful, and, you know, she carries that vibe really well, and it carries her as well. It doesn't constrict her at all, and it just molds really well to her. Now, Nicole, I think this is from her Australia movie shoot with Hugh Jackman. I think that's my favorite movie with her in it. Um, she just looks so free and fresh and vibrant here because she's wearing her, you know, natural textile. She has this suede jacket and, you know, it's, you can't really see all of it, but it's structured for a flamboyant natural. She can really carry it with her strong shoulders and her height and her length. Um, and the colors look really good on her. Uh, it's just a very different vibe than what I'm used to seeing her in, like very tight, clingy, dramatic or classic kind of dresses. 
I think she looks the best when she wears something a bit more free and more easygoing and more tactile and natural. So here are a few other looks. Um, Claire, she looks really great with the very sleek hair um, and this asymmetrical, you know, sort of vertically draped stark black neckline looks really good on her. Um, it matches her flow of her body really well. And then with Nicole here, again, this is a very flamboyant, natural, friendly kind of dress. It's really hard to pull off this kind of heavily pocketed, um, heavier fabric khaki dress with a, what is that, like a dance skirt? <laughs> but it looks so natural on her, especially with a hat on. Um, it really brings out, you know, this very easygoing, strong, relaxed, kind of Amazonian vibe in Nicole. Um, and here's the last one. Again, Claire looks great in very strong outfits. You know, she can really carry it. It doesn't overwhelm her. You don't see the outfit. You see Claire and you see her wearing the outfit. It never wears her when she wears her dramatic lines. Um, and in Nicole's case, it's just the same. This is a kind of <laughs> crazy outfit that would look very overwhelming on another type, but it really fits because Nicole's lines can carry it. Um, you know, you notice her, um, the vibe of the clothes enhances her vibes. It's very harmonious with her vibe. It's consistent. So moral of the story is um, it's all about the vibe. If you're confused as to whether you're dramatic or flamboyant natural, Think about what your vibe is. Are you more of a very regal, intense powerhouse of a woman? Or are you more of a like Amazonian, outback, free-spirited kind of, kind of lady? I know those are very big generalizations, but if you really dig deep, you'll probably find that you're attracted or you feel more comfortable with one rather than the other if you're confused about these two types. So um, that's it. I'm going to post this on my blog, thealignlover.com with more details and as well as my Instagram, thealignlover. And um, yeah, let me know what you think and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.